Hello viewers, it's K Felix here and I welcome you to my YouTube channel K Felix Inspire. I would like to say a very big thank you to all of you for the support and the contribution you are giving to this channel. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I post new videos. Stay tuned for more details in this report. We, we had a chance to see him. We allowed uh, to, to see him and to chat with him. Uh, he's not too well. Yeah, he's not too well. Uh, the usual therapy that we know. It's not the first time that he's been in custody. And of course, uh, he, he has informed us that uh, he was uh, mistreated, he was harassed and uh, tortured. Something that is new, you know, to, to this uh, uh, constitutional democracy of ours. It's very unfortunate that uh, the police are having these desperate efforts, uh, all to try and gag the uh, freedom of speech. All Tayali has been doing is just to use his mouth. We all know it's not even a year now that, that oh, it's slightly over a year that the EPND have been in power. Look at how many times President Akende Shilema himself you know, uh, uh, made statements against President Edgar Chagolu. How many times was he treated like this? What's different, you know, about what that is doing, what they were doing? It's very surprising that, of course, uh, like we've said before, uh, our friends of the UPND, uh, they say one thing and do the exact opposite. They're preaching the rule of law. And they're saying they'll, 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 they'll change things for the better. Is this what it means to change things for the better? Beginning to torture suspects. Even when a suspect is in detention, he still enjoys his full rights. Torturing a suspect is against international and regional law. And uh, the continued uh, violation of people's rights in this country must be stopped. It must be stopped immediately. We call upon His Excellency the President to immediately instruct the police to stop violating people's rights, even when they're in custody. So this is not what Zambians are uh, voted for. And, uh, when we remind the Zambian people that uh, uh, you know the UPND uh, government will not be up to uh, uh, speed, that time people thought we were just political. But it's now evident, it's very clear that uh, you have a government that is governing fear, a government that is governing uh, you know with a lot of paranoia. So I think this is where we have a problem. Yeah. I'm sure by now you are used. The president says uh, within 24 hours, within 48 hours. The last time he was held up to one week. Okay, uh, President uh, Savoy. Savoy is here. How many days did she remain in detention? So you should weight that against what the president says. And then you'll have your own comment regarding how he's governing this country. He says one thing and does the exact thing. <coughs> we do not know. There's not even a mention. When you talk to the officers here, they will simply tell you are providing accommodation and somebody else is dealing with the case. Uh, have you charged him? No, we are not uh, the ones that are uh, charging. So that's, that's what we have. But of course, we, we have instructed our lawyers. We, we are proceeding with speed to try and find means to secure his uh, liberties at the end. Uh, when I go, there is some perception from uh, Zambians that uh, PF um, the Patriotic Front might be the one sponsoring um, Mr. Tayari to issue all these statements. Are you in a position to comment about this whole perception? Shilu Tayari is not new to this political space. When President Daka and the HDM was incarcerated, Comrade Tayari was uh, on radio, he was on TV, he was on Facebook every day speaking for President Daka and the HDM. So was it the PF that was sponsoring him to speak for President Daka and the HDM again? You know, people should not live by double standards. The hypocrisy that we're witnessing today must be stopped. Because he was speaking for President Naka and the Hichilem against the PF. So we're the PF sponsoring uh, Chief Chatari. Comrade Tari is just a strong individual. He's a strong individual, patriotic individual, who will speak against the ills as he sees them. He doesn't need to be sponsored, unless you don't know who Chief Chatari is. So we came here to support him. I mean, Comrade uh, uh, Savoy is here. Uh, Comrade Bembe was here yesterday. So are they the ones of Ponsiris? Yes. No, he's just a Zambian that must be uh, uh, defended. He's a Zambian that must be supported. And we'll continue to support all the strong voices from both women, men and women of this country that will stand up 
against the use uh, of the, the UPND. So there's no truth in that at all. There's no truth in that. It's entirely speaking against the, the, the uh, bad governance of the UPND. Even you must be speaking against the bad governance of the UPND. I don't think it's only you who is speaking against the bad yeah. governance of the UPND. Everybody is speaking against it. You know, if somebody else came to me today and said they're governing the country well, I would have to check that person. You know? So there's nothing unusual about what Chief Adjali is doing. He just has a, 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 maybe a proper platform where he's able to reach people in their thousands and communicate. But otherwise, we all have the message that Chief Adjali has. With only one year class in power, we've seen so many arrests. Does this make you uh, bothered as opposition to say in the next years to come we might see a number of opposition leaders being put to the uh, Well, of, of course, um, uh, if PNDM are misguided, they think that uh, by effecting so many arrests, they are going to suppress the voices. The answer is no. We will never stop talking. We will never stop talking. In fact, uh, we have more voices joining now because they realize that uh, the more we keep quiet, the more they continue to oppress and violate uh, their people's rights. So I think the best thing the ACND must do is to go back to their drawing board. Why, why, what's making people speak against them so much? When they were in opposition, they got a lot of support, the so-called 2.8. But why should they be going through what they're going through now? The only political party to have lost to, have, to lose popularity within a year to this extent. I've been on the political uh, arena for quite some time now. I think my colleagues will agree with me. There is no single political party that lost so much popularity within a year. Go back to 2011, 2012, during presidents at that time. I mean, everybody, the first two, three years, you're all celebrating, dancing and enjoying yourselves. Are you doing that now? Are the farmers clapping for the UPND? Are the youths still clapping for the UPND? Are the civil servants apply, clapping for the UPND? So it's the only... Are yeah, the journalists now? Yes. Mm. Thank you very much. <laughs> Imagine that the fourth estate, yourselves, you are here to just cover events as they are. You're not exaggerating anything. Mm. Why should you be arrested for holding a camera and reporting on the events as they, as they happen? The UPND themselves ascended to power with the help of the journalists. You followed them everywhere they went. When President Daka and the HLMA was uh, incarceration, you covered him each and every day until he was released. So what's wrong with Innocent Peer and his colleague going to cover the events as they were uh, unfolding at Ali's house? So, well, our democracy has gone to the lowest. This is the lowest and it was not expected uh, to be so under the, the UPND. But unfortunately, uh, ladies and gentlemen, that's where we are now. To help leader of the opposition, there's a very serious concern that has risen. The beating, brutal beating and torture of Chufia Tayali. It's not an ESA, he has confirmed it to ourselves. He's in need of medical attention and he's been asking for this medical attention since yesterday. He's unwell and he needs to see a doctor. For me, it's a warning to President Daka in the HLM. The issue of torture is um, an offense against human rights and international law. It's not a small matter. We heard when Shabi Chilekwa was beaten and brutally tortured. People looked away, thinking maybe because he's a murder suspect. We saw those two young people from Chiengi, the youths that were beaten by soldiers, who were promised that uh, the soldiers would be punished. There's never been any punishment communicated on those soldiers that brutally beat those kids in um, uh, Chiengi. Now we have an opposition leader in Mr. Chukia Tayari who was brutally beaten. If President Nagainde Ichilema is sincere, he needs to call upon the Inspector General of Police to suspend the officers that were involved in this matter. Even charge them because torture is a, you know, illegal even under our criminal jurisdiction. It's not allowed. And like I said, it's an international offense on human rights. It's not something very small. So now there is a consistent pattern that this government actually tortures people. And uh, another call is they should immediately allow Chilfetari to seek medical attention. You do not want a suspect to die in custody, especially after you've beaten him. So for us, I think that is a, a matter of very serious concern. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, if you, 
okay. if it's okay, yeah. I would uh, only add that what is giving you PND pressure are two very bad qualities. One, arrogance, and uh, secondly, uh, it is uh, their lack of understanding of governance. These two things put together is causing them to do what they are doing. Trufia Tayadi is not a problem. The problem is a minister saying that there is medicine in health facilities and yet there is nothing. The problem is a minister telling the country via the floor of parliament that we are going to distribute fertilizer and there is no fertilizer. So these two matters is what the president should focus on. The arrogance of the UPND and its uh, uh, lack of knowledge in terms of governance. If he deals with these two issues, his government may be projected you know, a, a little better. Uh, you, the fourth estate, are very key for two things, uh, transparency and secondly accountability. You tell me uh, how we are going. How else we are going to illuminate the ills of the UPND if you are not allowed to cover? Should you be arrested for simply coming to cover uh, politicians or other economic, play, economic or social players uh, who are actually trying to do some good stuff for the country? I think that's very unfortunate. Uh, but also, the government that the Zambian people has have put in place must be held accountable by the people who have deposited their power into them. And to do that, you must have information. This information can only be accessed if we allow the media uh, to be able to operate free so uh, I'm, I'm calling upon the government actually to stop intimidating the media uh, the same way that I'm calling upon uh, the government you know to focus on the things that are really really giving them pressure it's not Shofi Atayari this I can tell you because what Shofi Atayari is literally talking about is what you are doing if you stop doing that and begin to do the things which the Zambian people want you to do the pressure will be gone but unfortunately arrogance and ignorance is what will kill me. Yeah, very well. So um, uh, let me try and quote one of the tweets that was done on the uh, 10th of uh, March 2021 by President uh, Hakainde Ichilema. They have temporarily taken away your freedom of speech and expression through, uh, 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 through the rushed cyber security bill to stop you questioning their incompetence and corruption. Our first task once you elect us this August, we will be to repeal this bad law. Where are we today? See, we have gone beyond 1964. In 1964, before 1964, our founding fathers, freedom fighters, were treated exactly this way you see. Where they will bundle people from Chinsali, take them to Minilunga. They bundle people, after winner, they take him to southern province and in the dotted places where they have no access for help or even being seen by their people. How can they get, look, here where we are. You, 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 you've never heard of this police uh, 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 post, Musamba police post. Everyone is asking, where is it? In the middle of, uh, literally, you see, <laughs> to make sure that they hide these people like they did in the old uh, colonial time. This is very unfair. I think that we have really uh, uh, gone uh, many steps backward. But like my colleagues have said, really, how does putting uh, President Rufia Tayari in sales going to reduce the price of uh, fertilizer, which was promised? How will the putting of uh, President Rufia Tayari in sales going to reduce the prices of uh, uh, fuel, the high cost of living? So, if they think that they can silence us, we want to tell them that the spirit of our founding fathers, the spirit of our freedom fighters is here. We will not be intimidated. We are going to rise and to fight this. We hoped that he was going to repeal the laws that he talked about. But uh, where we are today, he is actually wasting, relying on the same relying on the, on the same bad laws that he claimed to, you know, and even misapplying yeah. them, misapplying <laughs> them with, with, with the impunity, yeah. you know. Yeah. So this is very sad, and uh, and uh, we want to assure you that uh, even you, the media, we are with you. Uh, when they attack you, they've attacked us. So um, we are moving as a one front. Thank you very much.